Hey, it's your book hound here coming at you with another review. If you like what you see here, hit subscribe. We've got lots of reviews and special offers coming at you all the time. Today we're going to talk about Movie Land, which is the fourth in the Eve Ronin series of mysteries by Lee Goldberg. Lee Goldberg is a very prolific and talented author. You might know him from the Monk series, but he's written a ton of other books. And Eve Ronan is one of his new creations. She is a 26-year-old homicide investigator for the L.A. Sheriff's Department, the LASD. She's the youngest homicide investigator in the history of the department. And she, you know, leapt up to this position from being a regular deputy after she punched out a famous movie star uh, for beating his wife. And um, she was videotaped doing this. She became instantly famous on, on the Internet. She has a nickname, which is Blood Fist. And uh, she has parlayed this experience into being a homicide investigator. And it's kind of a mutual benefit to her and the department. The department wants her to be a homicide investigator because she's kind of a young, attractive person of integrity who can make the department look good at a time when there's a lot of scandals in the LASD. This is in real life and in the book. Um, and, and she wants to be a detective. Now, the problem is she knows she's inexperienced, and so she's working on that kind of part of her background and her character. She's, you know, trying to learn how to be a homicide investigator. She has good instincts, but her skills need work, and she's partnered with a very experienced old-timer named Duncan Donuts Pavone, who's an overweight guy who eats too much. Um, he's kind of a little bit comic relief, but he's also her mentor. He's one of the few people who really cares about her. Everyone else in the department hates her in fact, wants her harmed. And she has, in some other books, and in this book, you know, has endured threats, violence and other, from her own colleagues. They don't like her. They think she doesn't deserve to be a homicide investigator. And she doesn't care. And this is, her character is an interesting character. She's she's not 100% sympathetic. Um, and she doesn't want to be sympathetic. It's I think Goldberg is playing around with us. He's, he's m m asking us to think about how we deal with with smart, tough female characters in in uh, in crime fiction. I'll talk about that more in a minute. But um, the, the movie, the, the, the book is called Movie Land, which is a nickname that local people have for the Malibu Creek State Park, which is a large park in the kind of near the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles. Um, where previously a lot of movies had been shot. And this is true of a lot of parts of Los Angeles where before the city expanded, they were it was more like the country and they shot Westerns and other movies. And when you drive around L.A., sometimes you feel like, oh, I think I've been here before because you're on a place, you're at a place where they shot some movies. And so um, this park has all kinds of places where you can say, oh, this is where this movie was shot and that movie was shot. And... Um, the the mystery leads off with Ronan and Do Donuts being called to a murder scene. A woman has been shot to death with a shotgun in the park. And it turns out that this is, at least according to Donuts, part of a series of shootings in the park. But the park rangers and everybody seems to be covering this up. The park is very important for tourism. They don't want anyone to be scared of coming there. So this is the tension of the book. Like, they start investigating this murder and other people start getting shot. And it's really clear that there is a series of shootings going on and they need to stop the series of shootings. And uh, Eve doesn't take the instruction to stop it seriously. She keeps plugging away and this causes her problems. And in parallel, she's dealing with in her personal life, a, a kind of a puzzling challenge, which is that she has on one level achieved the dream of many people in Los Angeles, which is to be her life is going to be the subject of a television series because of her exploits, you know, beating up the blood fist actor and saving a child from a fire and all these other things. Eve Ronan has become famous and there's going to be a television series based on her life. And for most people in L.A., that's like a dream come true for her. She really hates the idea, but she needs the money because she's being sued by someone in the department and like she needs the money. So she's like, all right, whatever, let's just get this over with. She can't stand it. And this is something where, and Goldberg is very strong in this regard because he's from this industry in this city. And I have some familiarity. I worked in television in LA also. 
he really gets the whole obsession that so many people in LA have with television and movies. And that's, I mean, the title of the book, Movie Land, is a reference to this also. That, you know, everyone's like, oh, you're so lucky. Wow. And she's like, oh, I don't want to deal with it. But she's got to deal with it. And this includes her mother, which is kind of a comic relief segment that comes up in these books. Her mother is this kind of flamboyant actress who's just been a complete failure and only works as an extra but is always like, you know, developing her character and working on her craft and all this kind of actor bullshit that people do in L.A. And it's funny, but it's also a little bit pathetic. Um, And Eve's father, who, you know, she's estranged from, but he's a television director and he's angling to direct the show. And it's like she's just fending off all this stuff. And in throughout what, what I think Goldberg is doing, I mean, obviously, this is a very effective mystery, a very effective procedural. It works at that level completely. But at another level, what he's doing, and I think very effectively, is he's asking us to think about how we deal with female characters, like I mentioned before. Because in a lot of books like this, the writer does things to either compromise or objectify female characters, like... In another book, in other books, you know, you'd really be hearing a lot about what Eve Ronan looked like, what her body looked like, how her hair, you know, all this stuff, like what she was wearing and kind of objectify her as kind of, you know, yes, she's a tough and homicide investigator, but she's, you know, got a great pair of boobs and looks great in a miniskirt. Like, you know, you'd hear that or and or the author would compromise the character by somehow, even though she's a great detective, make her like lack self-confidence, like, oh, I don't feel pretty enough to be here, and I'm, I'm in love, and all these kind of things that male writers do to women characters to make them less, you know, scary to a male reader. Goldberg isn't doing that. I think he's deliberately saying, look, this is reality today for men. There are women who are strong. Get used to it. So that's the character, and it's an interesting, it's an interesting dynamic, and as a sort of you know, middle-aged white guy, I have my own reactions to it, but I'm I'm generally in favor of it. I think it's time for for fiction to catch up to reality. We have a new gener- generation of young people who are defining themselves the way they want to be defined, not the way we want to define them. So that's kind of the subtext of the book. But overall, it's a fun read and a fun and a good character, a good series. So I definitely recommend it.